Happy Monday. It is April 4th, 2022. I am the host and founder of the Actualization Zone, Dr. Robin McKay. Welcome if you are new. If you have been joining me for a while now, you know that this is our week weather report. I like to call it the weather report because from the time I was a little kid, I loved watching and listening to the weather and I always fancied myself an amateur weather person. I love the elements of weather. And because I am an intuitive, I am able to pick up on the non-physical influences, the energies basically of the week that are supporting us, that are influencing how we are going about actual, actualizing our greatest hopes, dreams, and our heart's desires. And that's why I'm here with you today. So welcome. I tuned in yesterday to find out what needed to be the focus of this week. And I just wanted to share with you from my notes, some of the things that came through. And um, so, all right, get ready. This is a great week. It's gonna be a lot of fun this week, but it's also a good week for fasting. Fasting from Netflix, fasting from wine, from carbs, from scrolling through your phone, from fasting from getting on your, your email first thing in the morning, as you, even as you open your eyes. So this is a good week to kind of strip down everything that you've been doing on autopilot. Bring yourself off of autopilot and come back into the here and now. The reason is because what we're headed for within this community in the actualization zone is an activation and alignment with your intuition. Because you're smart, because you're ambitious, because you're known as the one who can outwork everybody, your intellect has been on overdrive for literally years. Nothing wrong with that. But we've reached a point in this world where we need something other than our intellect to move us to the next level. And so I like to say that our intellect has brought us as far as we can. What's next is to activate and align with your intuition. Intuition, by the way, especially in the corporate space, has kind of gotten, I don't want to say it's gotten a bad rap because I don't think it's gotten any rap at all, frankly. I think it's one of the most under-recognized abilities that emotionally intelligent, spiritually intelligent people like you and me bring into our work. Unless you're an innovator and you invent something really cool or you think of something really awesome that the world can't live without, people don't always know what to do with us, those of us who have access to our intuition. And I think that it's so important for us to really start just celebrating intuition as our first sense. It's one of, one of my teachers has always said is that she calls intuition the, her sixth sense, but it actually should be our first sense. It should be our go-to, our go-to for what we're going to be creating now and in the future. So fasting from all of those things that would block your intuition. Fasting, as I said, things like from things like Netflix or from caffeine or from sugar, but fasting can also mean adding to. I know that doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense, but what I mean by that is rather than doing the things that you've always done this week, let's do a pattern interrupt and add some things into your life that maybe you've done in the past that have worked well for you. Maybe you've been thinking about doing and just haven't gotten around to it yet. Things like drinking more water, exploring more holistic solutions to maladies, especially chronic maladies like your weight, if you've got some sticky weight that's hanging on to you, rather than doing the thing that you've always done, which is probably around diet and exercise, seeking some other, you know, some holistic solutions to weight loss, for example, or dropping weight would be a good thing to look at. Seeking, seeking holistic remedies to things like allergies or anxiety, depression, ADHD. As your intuition comes online, one of the things that you're going to be noticing is that there's going to be more of a desire to look at those holistic remedies rather than to return to the old way of doing things, the allopathic medicine. Not that there's anything wrong with allopathic medicine, certainly 
There's not. I work with a lot of physicians. I come out of the pharmaceutical industry myself, but there comes a point where our physical bodies are asking for something different other than what uh, is written on a prescription or what traditionally in Western medicine gets done. Maybe you start looking at acupuncture or chiropractic or energy work or massage and certainly drinking more water, using essential oils to combat some of these environmental conditions that our bodies have been operating under for far too long will be very supportive, not just of your physical body, but also of bringing your intuition back into its rightful place as front and center, as, as the lead, as the guide for your life. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? We talked about fasting. We talked about holistic remedies. We talked about shaking up your routine with a pattern interrupt. So here's the thing about shaking up your routine. The thing that actually came forward as I was tuning in was how many of us are conditioned to, as soon as we roll out of bed, check email. And what I want to remind you of is unless you're on call and there are literally lives at stake for you not checking your email, which very few, in fact, I, I know most of you in this group, none of you have that kind of job. So there are no 911 emergencies that can't wait until after you've had your cup of coffee, gone for a walk, gone outside, done your stretches, done your meditation, whatever it is. I want to remind you of that because the intellect will say, well, I have to get to this right away. The intellect will activate the, the um, adrenaline system in your body in order to get you moving. You actually run on adrenaline a lot of times. And so as we're making the shift from the intellect running the show to intuition taking the lead, we're actually making the shift on what the body's running on. So what if you were running on flow and creativity and joy, elation, or calm, peace? What if you could unplug from that frenetic, frenzied, adrenaline-infused, caffeine-fueled energy and plug into light, love, a deep-seated sense of well-being, it is possible. And for you to do that, what's called for is a pattern interrupt. So let's play around with this week. What pattern are you going to be interrupting for yourself? Is it the checking email first thing as soon as you get out of bed pattern? Is it eliminating coffee and trying tea for a while. What is it? What pattern are you going to interrupt this week? Because whatever pattern it is, is going to elevate your consciousness around your intuition. It's going to bring you out of autopilot, bring you back into your life and really start focusing, pulling your consciousness into your heart. There's a beautiful verse in the Bible. I think it's in the book of Ephesians where Paul writes, may the eyes of your heart be enlightened. Now, Paul writes a lot of things that I don't particularly appreciate, especially about women, but that's a conversation for another time. But in that case, I do like what he had to say. May the eyes of your heart be enlightened. And that's what we're really calling for as we're bringing intuition front and center, as we're activating and aligning with intuition is pulling all of that consciousness into your heart. So making the journey from the brain, from the intellect down into the heart space and allowing the heart, not the emotional heart, but the wise heart to begin guiding and leading with its knowing, its inner knowing that you have access to. All right. Fast pattern interrupt seek holistic alternatives to maladies that have been plaguing you for a while now. Drink more water is the other thing that comes forward as well, because the energy of this week is really pretty dynamic. And it should be a lot of fun to play in this energy this week, to kind of be in that upward spiral of well-being 
and anything that is kind of dragging you down can simply be, I'm going to say eliminated when you make the shift out of autopilot and bring yourself back into the present moment. That is your weather forecast for this week. Let me know in the comments, what are you going to pattern interrupt or fast from this week, just to give yourself a different perspective and let's support each other as we move through the week.